Cause we have got a right to know. We have got a right to know. If our food is GMO. If our food is GMO. All we want's a simple label. All we want's a simple label. For the food that's on our table. All the food that's on our table. Cause we have got a right to know. We have got a right to know. If our food is GMO. If our food is GMO. And all we want's a simple label. For the food that's on our table. Just label it, don't table it. Just label it, don't table it. And just label it, don't table it. Just label it, don't table it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen who have come from far, far away. Ladies and gentlemen who work in the FDA, we have gathered here because of an injustice. Because we lack a democratic right held by citizens in not one, not two, not ten, not twenty, not thirty, but sixty-one other nations around the world. Citizens of 61 other nations around the world have the right to know what they are eating. Whether they are eating genetically contaminated foods or not. Many of these citizens in other countries have had it banned in their country, so they're not even at risk. Go other countries! Yeah. But we don't even have that right to decide whether or not we will buy those foods. When we go to the grocery store, there is no label that we can look at to determine whether or not we will ingest poison. So we've gathered here at the FDA, at the FDA Center for Food Safety and Applied and Nutrition, where they make the decisions about what things are labeled and what things are not. And we have come here to demand labeling of genetically modified foods as citizens. We have come here as citizenry of the United States of America demanding our democratic right. We are working on many different channels to achieve our goal. We have called upon the president to come through with his 2007 campaign promise to label genetically modified foods. We have petitioned our legislators in our own states to demand that our states label genetically modified foods. We have gone to grocery stores and we have demanded that they put on labels. And now today, for the first time, we have come to eat in at the FDA to demand that they label genetically modified foods because they are the ones that make the decisions whether or not to have those labels. We have come to expose the fact that, they, that the FDA has been genetically contaminated by Monsanto and by Biotech. We have come because Michael Taylor, who is the former chief of lobbying for Monsanto, is now in charge of our food safety. Let me say that again. The chief of lobbying for Monsanto that is making these poisons is now in charge of regulating those poisons. So we are calling for the resignation of Michael Taylor. We are calling for the ending of the revolving door between the FDA and those companies that they are set to regulate. The FDA that is there to protect the citizenry. And yet, too often, is acting in the best interest of corporations of chemical corporations, those that have made poison and continue to make poison, as opposed to the citizens, as opposed to us, as opposed to our children, and as opposed to those that are unborn. We are here not just speaking for those that are here today, but we are speaking for those all across the nation. The 80% that are 
are demanding GMO labeling. 80% last week in a poll came out want these foods to be labeled. 80%, the vast majority, beyond the Democrat, beyond 51%, 80% are calling for this right. So we are here representing millions and millions of people today. Each one of you here is representing a million people. So in a moment, we're going to take the time, we're going to give everyone a chance to speak on the microphone and speak to why they've come today. We're going to be make, we're going to be writing comments. We're also here because right now the FDA is considering whether or not to release genetically modified salmon into the ocean to contaminate, contaminate our oceans, the final frontier, truly the final frontier, with genetically modified fish. So we're going to be writing comments to the FDA. We have until April 26th to submit those comments. We're going to be commenting, we're going to be letting them know that we do not want genetically modified fish to be released. We want to let them know that the vast majority of American citizens do not want genetically modified salmon to be released. But we're also going to have a chance for everyone to make their public comments to directly to the FDA over our loudspeaker. And when we have people come, we want you to say what you brought to, to, to contribute to the stone soup, where you've come from, why you've come here, and what you want to tell the FDA. We want to make sure that everybody has a chance. Why? Because we have got a right to know. We have got a right to know. If our food is GMO. If our food is GMO. Now all we want is a simple label. All we want is a simple label. For the food that's on our table. For the food that's on our table. Because we have got a right to know. We have got a right to know. Yeah. Food is GMO. Now all we want is a simple label. All we want is a simple label. For oh, the food that's on our table. For oh, the food that's on our table. Just label it, don't table it. Label it, don't table it. Just label it, don't table it. Label it, don't table it. Just label it, don't table it. Label it, don't table it. Just label it, don't table it. Label it, don't table it. Thank you everybody for keep that energy up. Thank you so much.